morning lovelies, um, I can't believe it, it's already Friday morning, so this is the day before my brand new shop launch. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'd actually share with you what the page is looking like so far. Um, so I'm actually in the editing um, back end of the story at the moment, but this is this is what it looks like. Um, it's very me, it's very cutesy, uh, I can change this banner at any time, which is what I really like about Shopify. Um, just a little bit about navigation, so you've got a home, the collections are here. Now not all of the listings are loaded, which you'll see in a minute, so I'm going to be very busy today, finishing some photographs and putting some listings up. I've got a little reward scheme, so hopefully this will work out okay, but um, the idea is if people who come shopping, there's ways they can earn points, um, so placing an order, subscribing to emails, um, joining my YouTube channel, um, becoming one of the loyalty members, um, and following me on Instagram, and they can, the points kind of add up and they give you like um, money off and discounts and things, so if you're interested that's there. I've got a little link section, so um, I take you to my YouTube channel, for example. Um, let's go back from there. There's a little bit of news, so I've done like a little introduction saying hello, this is what I'm working on at the moment. There's a link to one of my more popular vlogs, so um, if you want to know a little bit more about me there. There's a contact button, which is kind of quite useful I think, <laughs> particularly for people who place an order and you might have forgotten to leave a comment or something or you couldn't find the comment box. And then um, there's like a Etsy shop, so if you want to head off to Etsy, you can go and have a look over there, um, see if there's anything you like. That Not everything that's on my shop is on Etsy, and not everything on Etsy is on my shop, if that makes sense. Um, so primarily, Etsy is going to be a lot more of sticker sheet based, a couple of pins, but not many. I'm going to phase a lot of the products that aren't sticker based out and kind of move them across to the shop if that makes sense, okay. Um, that's also useful for people who, um, I am selling internationally, I am selling to Europe, but because of customs, I have no way of paying the customs fees, um, you may prefer to go over to Etsy and shop. However, I know a lot of people um, tend to expect the fact that they'll have to pay extra fees every now and then. Um, I've made it really clear on my shipping policy, so I'll show you that in a minute. But um, yeah, so you've kind of got an option. You can come shopping on my store, um, or you can head over to Etsy, um, but everything on my store is completely made by me. Okay, on Etsy, I still have some graphics licenses that I pay. There are four artists I work with. Um, so some of the sticker sheets, and it does say in the listings, so Dye's Digi Stamps, for example, she's a lovely artist, and I pay a yearly license to her every year, so it's not a one-off license, um, so that I can use some of her graphics in my sticker sheet designs. I also add my own elements, so it's never just like taking Dye's sticker and making a sheet of it. I kind of create my own little bits as well. Um, but none of that is available on my store. Everything on my store is all made by me, um, created by me, which is um, why I'm really excited about it. Okay, so let's look down further. I've got the introduction to the Halloween cuties, so you can just click on any item you like. It takes you to the page. Um, I put extra pictures in too, and I had loads of fun taking photographs of this one yesterday. At any time, you can go back to the home page. Um, so I've also put on here some of the bundles so i have a collection of bundles so you can just click on the bundles or you can view them all um it's up to you really again you can go back to the home page and you can just browse by collection um but if we go further down i hope i'm not making you too dizzy <laughs> i've also grouped the collection so you can click on any collection there are more collections so you can view them all and then I've put a little video in that I created for Instagram. Um, this one doesn't have the Instagram ending. Let me just close that for a minute. Um, so there's a little video there. And then if people are interested in the bundle, they can go and buy them straight away or click on it and go and have a bit more of a look, if that makes sense. Okay, um, I'm really proud of how it's looking so far. Um, I've learned a lot. So hopefully, if you bear with me, it will work. <laughs> at 12 o'clock on Saturday 31st when I click launch. Um, at the moment there's a password that's kind of stopping anyone from getting into the store. You can go to littlebits.shop and sign up for emails though if you're interested. Um, I'm creating an email to go out tomorrow at launch time um, just to tell you a little bit more about the store. So let's have a look at some of the collections. 
and this has taken me literally so <laughs> long to put together um i've created the um like a view so that when you hover over if there's a second picture it kind of shows up and it's taken me so long to put these in order um i was going to put all the pins together for example and then all the sticker sheets but in the end i kind of mixed it up a little bit and hopefully it looks okay um for the washi tapes i haven't taken individual washi tape photographs yet but if we click on that one um, so what I will do, if I get around to that, I'll add the individual washi tape pictures. Um, it just depends how much time I have left at the end of today. But what you can do is you can choose a particular washi tape. Um, best thing to do is to add it to your cart. So let's add one to the cart, shall we? Let's add Freddie the Bat to the cart. And then you can go to checkout, or you can also view your cart. So then if you stay on that page, and let's say you also want a pumpkin spice swirl, and you add that one to the cart, um, that's probably the easiest way of doing it. I was going to put these on individually, but I thought actually it's quite nice to have them all in one place. Um, let's pop over to the cart while we're there. <laughs> you can check out, shipping will be added. Now shipping is based on a weight base. I also have set up, so if you spend £40 or more in my store in the UK, you'll get free shipping. Um, I believe it's £50 for America just because of the weight of the packages, particularly if someone was to pick up a bundle. Um, it probably wouldn't take too long for that to add up. Um, so I do have to cover some of the cost in that. Um, and then EU, I believe, is 45 ish um, or euros, which is about the same as £40. Um, so that's there. Now I have got set up at the moment, which is something I will change. If I haven't changed it, please message me straight away, <laughs> is um, that you have to sign up to check out. I don't like that idea, so I'm going to go into the back end of the store today and just remove that little part. People can sign up if they want to, but I don't want to force people to sign up. Um, I think there's so many things we have to sign up to these days that I thought, no, I'm probably going to remove that. So, And it's easy to remove them from your cart. Um, shipping, I've got PayPal is connected. Um, Shopify Pay. Now, don't be alarmed if you want to use Shopify Pay. It's kind of just linked to your normal cards, whatever card you want to use. Um, I could see the debit card wasn't an option, but actually, if you click on credit card, it lets you put in your debit card details. I have messaged them and asked them if they could actually put the debit card little symbol in there, but um, it is an option. So, pretty much everything I've tried to connect up hopefully it will work for you. Um, so let's go and look at the collections, the Sakura collection. So I haven't finished loading, listening to these ones. This is what we've got so far. Um, I've got another sticker sheet. I have three more pins to add to this one. Um, but just to show you, if you click on one of the listings, um, I give you a little bit of details, what's in the pin. Um, apologies if you can hear my little old computer in the background. I'm on the desktop at the moment, chugging away there. Um, I am saving up for a new one, I promise you. Um, but yeah, it's really quite a popular pin, this one. So I am probably going to leave a handful still on Etsy of this particular pin. This one and the Harmony the Whale pin seem to be um, my most popular ones in the store at the moment. Um, so the Panda Boo and Friends, if you go there, I haven't put these listings on yet. All the mini bits of mice, I think I've only got one. So that's what I'm going to be busy doing today. Um, but the hoodie winks, for example, they're all ready to go. So you have a selection of pins, um, sticker sheets. I've got minis and some midi stickers. So minis are like 3.2 by 3.2 inch um, sticker sheets. And I round the corners to make them extra cute. <laughs> um, and you end up with this many stickers. And they're quite popular sellers. They're only £1.10. It's cheaper than my Etsy store. A lot of these I've made a little bit cheaper than Etsy store. Um, because of how many fees Etsy take off me, I'm hoping that I can kind of give that back a little bit to the customers. Um, you can do the back button, by the way. And um, I've also got some midi size sticker sheets. So I think from memory, midis are probably in the Halloween cuties at the moment. Um, so if we go to, there's Freddy the Bat. Uh, the midis are slightly bigger, so you've got a choice here. A midis are £1.80, they're 4.5 by 4.5 inches, so they're slightly larger stickers. Not as large as the A6 sticker sheet, but I find the width is the same width, if that makes sense. Um, so you can actually choose a midis or a midis on this particular design. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling, but I'm just so excited. <laughs> Um, so Panda Boo and Friends and Mini Bits Mice I've got to load still. I've got a couple of little bits of cuties I've started. So these are all my hand-drawn creations, um, all my own stickers. Um, bundles. 
So we've got a couple of bundles on here. Um, so the little penguin. I haven't got too many left of some of these bundles, but I thought I'd pop them on for you anyway. I removed them from Etsy so they're only available on my store. So you get the little penguin pin. There he is there. <laughs> He's super cute. Um, and then you get the washi tape. Now this is what I want to do with my other washi design. So hopefully I'll get time. If I don't, I promise you the washies are gorgeous. But um, you end up with a mini sticker sheet and a die cut with this one as well. And then, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the seconds goodie. So I had um, some stock from the coloring box. Oh, I haven't added the coloring box. That's going to be a to do for today. Um, but, but the A5 uh, with the spiral bound at the top, there's a misprint on the cover. The inside is absolutely perfect. But what I'm going to do is pop them in the second. So I'll make this a small amount available at seconds. Um, and once they're gone, they're gone. Um, I'm so fussy there is no way I would put them out as an A grade or you know a, a um, cream of the crop uh, product so they will go in the Halloween cuties it's just deciding where to put them amongst all of these um, so I'm going to be colouring in the blog today um, so hopefully you'll enjoy seeing some of that and um, just to show people um, probably the broom page I do love the broom page um, a little bit more about the colouring books but yeah so it is very early yeah, this morning so forgive my croaky voice I'm gonna have a sip of tea actually but yeah this is what this is what the shops looking like um, what do you think hopefully by the time you're watching this you'll be able to um, come and have a little look for yourself by the way you can click on the shop all button from the main page and it shows you absolutely everything which is quite a nice way of doing it you can also search so enamel pins I mean I could tell you about this for hours on end um, and that's all the pins kind of in one place not grouped in collections but I'm really really proud of my store and I can't wait to share it with everybody um, and I really hope <laughs> there's somebody out there that also likes some of the things on my store but if they don't do you know what the whole process of putting together this website has just been amazing I've learned a lot I'm sure there are errors and you'll tell me all about them but um yeah, thank you everybody I've got a really really busy day today so um, I'm going to end this little part and I'm going to head on into the room next door and set up the photo shoot because I have um, seven of the Halloween pins still to take photographs of um, and yeah okay I'll catch you in a bit bye hi there lovelies um welcome to the mayhem that is the day before shop launch um so i'm currently sending on a little stall but um i've had my shower the hair's up which means we're serious and um i'm currently setting up to take some extra photos so please excuse the mayhem that is look at those boxes over there Oh my gosh um setting up ready to take more products um i hope you enjoyed the introduction i did ramble quite a lot i'm sorry i am a rambler um when i showed you my shop and how it's looking so far so i bet you can guess what i'm doing this afternoon um but yeah so let's turn you around and we'll show you i'll turn the lights on what i've got set up at the moment and what i've got left to do okay i'll see you in a bit Okay, so this is the current little setup. I'm just about to take a photo um, of the little skelly and then I'll show you what he's sitting in. So hold on, let's see if we can do it. Okay, so we've taken the photograph. Hopefully that worked. <laughs> um, so now let's actually look at the photo box itself. Okay, so I've got, there's an option to look through the top which won't work for this particular one. And then I've got different colors so please excuse the mess, but this is my setup. It's real time. <laughs> so I've got other colours that I can use. Um, there's quite a few to choose from actually. And then I've got some fabrics in different patterns. Um, I might try one of the skeleton ones for Skelly. I think I've got a black one too. Okay. And then if we come back around, so that photo light box that I can put different colours in. I've also got this set up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you the whole contraption because it's a bit out there. Um, so, in order to make this work, 
I've had to get, I think it's an old Ikea shelf, not sponsored, some old books on top of my normal little desk platform area. And then I've got, I think they're called, are they rigs? I think they're called rigs. I've got that rigged up to there. The things we do, hey? I've got an arm with a light and then I can look down and I'm going to use this to photograph the colouring box. I'm also going to do some colouring on the colouring box too. Kind of makes sense. So I've got some pencils there, some pens. I've also got some brush pens. And then these are the pins I still have to um, photograph. So let's show you. Hello, Hedgy. It won't autofocus, will it? <laughs> okay, so I've got Hedgy still to photograph. And what I've done is I'm using these noodles. If you ever get packaging, um, I can use the actual noodles. So I've got Skelly in there. Um, the light's a bit bright, so sorry about that on the screen. But Skelly's actually balancing, can you see at the side? On one of the noodles. Okay, so I've got a little ghosty and I've actually got some footage of him in the dot that I might use for my last vlog or refilm it again today. Um, for the little ghosty, I'm gonna put it like, I've got some black cloth as well as long as, as well as probably a blue background um if you did look at the first part you'll see a lot of my pictures um i've either gone into the woodland let's see if we can do hattie for you um so hattie the witch i need to um do probably on i'd like an orange or green background i think for that one or maybe a white but yes when I'll track that. Um, the photographs are either from the woodlands, from out in my garden here, or using the photo box. So you might find that interesting. Um, so yeah, lots left to do. I cannot wait to colour in my colouring book. Um, I wanted to include it as part of this vlog. So what I'll have to do is stop the whole taking photographs, adding this thing malarkey for a little bit, and just relax and colour in some pages. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. I've input the colour swatch pages for the first 10 of each book. Um, no news on the A5 top spiral. They're still in production, so I think I'm going to have to, I'll put the listing on, but they'll have to be pre-order. So don't panic if it says sold out, just head over to the pre-order section. I'll try and make it easy to find. Um, but literally, they're only going to take a week to get to you, so even though it says pre-order, um, yeah, so there's the colour swatch page and then decisions which one to colour. I think what I'll do is colour the little A5 one. And yeah, this is one of my favourites, so you'll get to see that soon, hopefully. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing how this is all set up. This is the mayhem that is a little bit studio right now. <laughs> but I'll get back to taking photographs and I'll see you soon. So 
won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Okay lovelies, um, this is what it's looking like so far um, and I've actually done a combination of colour pencils and felt tips and if I check there's nothing on the reverse side you can just faintly see something coming through but again pop the little colour swatch underneath if you're worried about it But um, and I did press quite heavily to be fair so um, yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying this so I know what I'm going to be doing this evening and tomorrow morning after I've got the shop ready. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi again, lovelies. Um, my camera is flashing up there, so that means I don't have long. Um, but I just wanted to pop on and say goodbye. I've still got the little potion bottle set up there. I finished all the photography. Um, I've also coloured in the colouring book. So, and I'm really, really happy um, with how it turned out. Um, I do have some footage of that. Hopefully, I put it in. Um, but yeah, whatever you're doing today, look after yourself. Um, I'm so excited about tomorrow. If you can, please do pop on, even if you just have a look around and give me some feedback. That'd be brilliant. But until next week, see you later. Bye.